Hey folks, weatherman Sam, man in a big green hat. I'm here at Joe Wheeler State Park, hiking the brand new awesome trail as they call it. It's a series of multi-use trails for hikers and mountain bikers. And today we're going to do the first half of the journey and tackle part of um, the Luther's Trail and then take the cutoff and come back on the Page Farm and, and hike something called the Punisher, which Sounds cool just because of the Marvel character name or whatnot. And uh, hopefully, great views of the lake here. So, let's go see what we can find. I always love the marina here at Joe Wheeler State Park. All along the hillside, next to the studded trail, are these little ox eye daisies and wild peas blooming. And a few little dandelions mixed in. It's cool. I love these little daisies. And here is the start of the awesome trail. Give me an idea of what's behind us. We're right at the end of this road where all the the docks and the storage areas are for the boats. Really cool to walk past all of them and see them. Here all those speedboats out there. This wide section almost looks like the Tennessee River. And maybe it's the backwaters of it. But this is technically First Creek that feeds into the Tennessee. The trail itself is biking through mostly deciduous forest. I love these shag bark hickories. I always thought the bark was exceptionally interesting on them. Just the way it kind of peels and flakes off. Just hanging out. Coming up on our first bridge here. Beautiful, just has been built. Little streams over is dry. There's such a tremendous amount of rain the first part of the year in the last month or so has been exceptionally below average. There's a little standing water in the sky. And the view out to the little cove here. I've decided to walk down to the edge of the backwash. I just like looking out over these areas. Sometimes when you're hiking along the edge of the lake, this can be the clearest views that you have. That's beautiful. There's a little switchbacks to this hill now. I don't know whether this has been bush hogged. It doesn't appear to be. So clear. I love when the woods are open like this. There's a few pines that are mixing in now. It's still mostly a deciduous forest. There's a bunch of wild comfrey here. Not just this one guy in bloom. If that makes out too well in video or not, seed pods are ready to be harvested if that's your thing. But I don't usually do that. So I keep going. Can you hear the birds? Made it to the top of the first little ridge here, out of all the switchbacks. Lots of birds flying through the trees. Some intermittent views of the, of the creek here. Just still mostly blocked from all the summer foliage. So we got a sudden change in vegetation here. Bunch of young little saplings of some kind of trees. 
Coming out to the top of the hill here, if you turn away from the lake, you can see part of the golf course, some of the greens here at Joe Wheeler State Park. The trail actually crosses over one of the pathways here that we're coming up on. It just continues on through the woods. I just can't get over how much comfrey is out here. There's just tons and tons of this stuff all along the trail. It has a little bitty blue b blooms on it when it's actually blooming. We're just past the season for that. You're just gonna want one of the little seed pods that looks like up close. And the spiny. Here's that crossing I was telling you about. The trail leads straight into the woods on either side. Or some of the golf course screens. Yeah, we won't walk down to those. Oh, that's interesting. The uh, it's TBA uh, property marker. A long time ago. That's cool. You know what a pretty little section this is. I studied the the map and aerial imagery well in advance of, of hiking here and I was kind of concerned this is a strip of land between the two golf courses but this is this is a really pretty section through here I really do enjoy it this little butterfly is not going to let me take a photo of him and he's way too far out the camera to pick up now it's a swallowtail of some kind. I've been dancing around and we've been we've been trading spaces here for a little bit. Ah <laughs> oh, man, it's nice to feel such a cool breeze. Beautiful old oak tree. Coming up on a little stream crossing here. I just love to hear bird song. There's a second little bridge. Deeper little gully here. Yeah, this time of year get into the summer months everything starts to dry up a bit yeah, I was walking along the trail here and this old metal thing uh, part of a car or something I guess it's interesting it's kind of hung up in the tree I tell you what well the maples and the oaks here this trail, particularly this section along Luther's Pass, is going to be absolutely stunning in the fall. Um, I'm definitely going to have to plan a trip back here in the fall sometime. Let's see this. Hey, look there. This reminds me of Montgomery Bell State Park in Tennessee a bit too. That's a beautiful spot. A lot of good trails get lost on there. But I've forgotten how nice Joe Wheeler here was. These trails are certainly what I've seen so far. Or the best of what I've seen. Massive Towards an ivy vine has fallen off the tree here. At first, I thought this was a fresh tree that had fallen. Wow, I love the section of tall pines, it's eastern red cedars mixed in with the deciduous trees. 
it's a nice change of pace and adds kind of a, a grandiosity to the woods in this section. Well out of view now of the golf course and see the, the creek in the distance to the left. There's nothing but woods all around. Another little crossing. Now we're going back down here on Oh wow, I wish we could get another view of the creek here. We're not too terribly far from where we're going to cut off of uh, Logan's Pass or Luther's Pass, I'm sorry. We rounded another little bend here. Yeah, I wish we could get back down some good views of First Creek, but we're coming up on the cutoff for Luther's Pass here pretty soon. We're going to take up and back toward the marina, a wide loop, like the Page Farm Trail and then the Punisher. We'll come back another time and do the other half of the awesome trail. Wow. This is an old moonshine still side. That's interesting. See more of the wings up there. The right we two barrels here. See some of the old cans. They're just uphill. A bit from the little cove. But usually these aren't located this far away from the water source. Pretty neat nonetheless. Here we are coming up on another bridge. The Awesome Trail. <laughs> I can't get over that name. And another dry branch. And there's the, the cutoff path to the right that we'll take up and out of here. We'll come back another time and and do this last half. I love the rich greens of the moss here. There's the little water in the stream. Oh, the sunlight filters through. It's be a beautiful little spot. A little water flowing through it, lots of little cascades and whatnot. So quiet. Two point three miles back to the marina. This little loop that we've done, or that we're doing, combining Luther's paths, the cut off, and then taking part of the Page Farm Trail, and the Punisher. We end up about five miles, I think, somewhere in that neighborhood. Great little afternoon hike. And then you have the longer option of doing the full thing and having a good eight or nine miles to do the outer loop. I love that it's divided up like that. Still some May apples up right now. The blooms and the fruit have already come and gone this late in the season. And you can hear the sounds of the road now come up to the edge, we'll come up closer. More of that wild comfrey.
this is the headwaters of the little stream, the dry stream that we crossed on the bridge earlier. I was hoping to find some ferns or something through here. But I don't see anything around. This was the butt of the hike that I was most curious about. Sometimes the maps on the line can be a little bit uh, off or something not to scale. And I want to know just how close to the road the trail actually is and it's unfortunately very close through here. Well, we're crossing another little road, a little access road. It's closed and we'll walk up here to the edge of this. Technically, what was the old uh, pay station or gatehouse at one time. There's currently not an entrance fee for Joe Wheeler State Park. Cool old structure still there. Tons of vines in the trees here. Which is kind of cool. Oh, coming up to a little footbridge of a very narrow strand. It's likely also quite dry. Goes on downhill. This is even closer to the road. The state park is still recovering a lot of tornado damage. And an EF3 that moved across the property. Oh, I think it was an EF3. Pretty much took down every tree on the campground itself, including its primitive area. Destroyed the disc golf course. Did a lot of damage to the day use area. But it's nice to see the place still open and always try to support state parks and even more so during times like this where you may not have as many visitors because so much of your amenities aren't, aren't open. Despite the road noise you hear, a lot of people are out fishing today. This is kind of a shared road with the state park and and the community here. There's a lot of traffic. And now we're gonna get to a weird spot. Showing the trail route this way. Uh, so we got a bit of a road walk. I'll film this for just a second. It's worth including, it kind of gives an idea of every aspect to the to the place. There's signs motioning in from the road that were short-lived. Poor dudes in the rough. It was like we walked just on the inside edge of the golf course here. Winding through a little bit of woods here. Kind of gives you the illusion that you're deeper in the woods than what you really are here. Not really. <laughs> uh, back in the woods for a minute. Another little footbridge. Barely we're putting anything over. <laughs> I 
Wait one last little bit here. Oh, this thing's flowing. This first one's been flowing on all day. Here's sewage treatment ponds. Awesome. I'm out of the woods here. Where the golf course is. This is technically the end of the uh, of the farm trail. I'm trying to find a way across to find the Punisher. He knows there's some white marks. On these trees, these small trees. I mean, one thing that I can figure is that the trail continues like this, because that's the same kind of blazing. So I've been all along the the Page Farm Trail so far. So we're gonna follow this little white blaze and that little white blaze on over to the other side of the field here. Yeah, sure enough, keep the faith. We went to the bend and saw the red blazes of the Punisher Trail. This is the last little leg on this loop back to the marina. Not more than a quarter mile or so. Just leading downhill. It's pretty enough. See the little roads that lead up to the restaurant and the lodge to the left there. The Punisher Trail continues straight on. Here's I have me a, a souvenir from the day's hike. <laughs> Golf course is up there somewhere. Cool. Now yeah, we're nearing the end of this little adventure. Thanks for coming along. Hope you've enjoyed some little sights and sounds and whatnot. So next time, keep us flowing and stay wild folks.